meeting. I'm going to be uh, just showing you guys a couple things for uh, creating meetings in Teams. Um, how to set it, all the participants as attendees instead of presenters. How to set uh, uh, reoccurring uh, reoccurring uh, meetings, as well as assigning meetings to various channels in your Teams. All right. So first off, I'm going to go into my calendar to create a uh, new meeting. Uh, I'll go sometime next week here and I'm just going to click an empty spot or I can select the plus meeting here. Okay, but I'm just going to click one of these empty spots that doesn't have a meeting in it already. And it automatically brings me to this page. Um, so I'm going to say that this is a test meeting. All right. Um, I have the date here. Here you can, there's all these time options, but you can also, if you kind of double click, you can set it to any peculiar time and start time and end time you want um, you know so there's full control in there okay you don't you're not limited to 30 minutes you can make your meeting uh, you know, uh, uh, an hour and 17 minutes or whatever you choose uh, you can make it reoccurring so for example here when I go to make it reoccurring on specific days but only a few days during the week go to custom down here uh, my first meeting is on April 21st, and then I want these meetings to reoccur every week on certain days of the week. So let's say I want this meeting to happen every Tuesday, Thursday, at whatever time I had selected uh, every week all the way to, you know, the end of June. Okay, uh, so I save that. So here with this setting, the fact that these two, Tuesday and Thursday, are highlighted means the meeting is going to recur every Tuesday, Thursday, every week until the end of June. So I'm going to say save Then I'm going to add it to a channel. I can choose a channel here. You can put it in your general channel or you can put it in your homework or student group chat channel uh, if you'd like. If they have a reply option there then they'll be able to use the chat option in your Teams um, if you wanted to keep your general channel uh, closed to chat uh, by uh, the participants in the Teams. Um, so I'm going to add that uh, there, hopefully. Uh, I'm also in the browser version of Teams here, not on the desktop version of Teams. And I don't have any other uh, things to put. I'm going to press send and it's going to create my test Teams. Okay, so it's going to take some time. Sometimes it's helpful to just uh, go out of the calendar and then go back in. Uh, and then there we go. All right, so now we have these two. Uh, meetings here and if I go to uh, the following week they're there again and the following week they're there again they're just there automatically until that end date that I had set all right now if I want to set all the present uh, participants as attendees and not presenters I have to have already created the meeting okay so once I go back into here you'll notice a new option here called meeting options that wasn't there before okay you have to um, create your meetings first and then you go back in and then the meeting options shows up. I don't know why, but that's how it is. Click the meetings options. It actually opens up a new window um, in Chrome. Now it doesn't work on Safari, so if you're having issues with it not opening, uh, use Chrome and it will work. Okay, I'm sure it'll work on Explorer as well since it's Microsoft. Um, but here you have these three options. Okay, first one is who can bypass the lobby. Um, so here, if you want everyone to be able to bypass the lobby, probably not a good idea. Um, since we're just dealing with, uh, you know, well, I'm just dealing with uh, students that within the organization, I can put that. Um, announce when callers join or leave. So this is helpful. Uh, some of you guys had concerns about students being able to go into a meeting before the meeting is going on. Um, but if you click this to yes, if that happens, you're going to get uh, some kind of notification that a student has gone into the meeting. Okay, uh, so that'll help you keep track of anything. And then this last one, who can, anything that, you know, the students are using the chat inappropriately. And then who can present? Uh, I'm going to go down here and I'm not going to say everyone can present. I'm going to say either specific people or I'm going to say only me. Okay, uh, and then I press save. And then it's done. I close the window. And then I close this as well. Everything has been saved. 
And now when I start a meeting, everyone's going to be set to attendees instead of presenters. Um, this meeting is reoccurring and it's set to whatever channel I want. Hopefully this video has been helpful to you. Um, goodbye.